Hello and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here then don't forget to subscribe down below and without much further ado, let's get on with the video. Today's video isn't actually what I planned on making. I planned on talking about my experience at LFCC this year because it's the first year that I crewed and it was an amazing experience and I got to meet so many new people and I met a couple of you guys and I met some other friends of mine and I just thought I would talk to you about that. But I also wanted to show you guys what I bought from LFCC and I've also done a bit of shopping at Disney, obviously, because it's me. And so this is kind of just gonna be a Disney Comic-Con haul, you know? That's what you're gonna get today. So if you don't know what LFCC is, it's London Film and Comic Con, which is the Showmasters version. I usually go to the MCM Comic Con. I prefer the venue because it's better for cosplay photos and I don't know, I just feel like the vendors as well are just... There's more things to see and do. There isn't as many famous people, but to be honest, I'm more about the cosplays and the merch anyway. But LFCC is the more famous autograph photo shoot kind of con and I was crewing it this year and it was hell, it was crazy, it was insane but it was also amazing. First day I was on information so I could not leave that area at all, I was stuck there for the entire day but the second day I was on cosplay photos which was the people that kind of take your photos and then if you want to buy them then you spend five pound on a print and you can buy them but because I was doing that, it wasn't as busy, so there was time for me to kind of go and explore a little bit. I think I had about half an hour in total to kind of run around and see as much as I could. And in that time, I bought a couple of things. Even though I was crewing, I could not leave this Comic Con without buying a pop vinyl because you guys know how much I love my pop vinyls. And this one that I have, I have wanted for literally I think about one, maybe two years now, I'm not even sure. I decided that I was going to collect every single Winter Soldier pop vinyl that ever exists, ever in existence. I have the Civil War one, I have the Winter Soldier one, and now I have this one just here. This is the Civil War Bucky Barnes Winter Soldier pop vinyl, but with his arm blown off. If you didn't know, Civil War is my favorite MCU film. I looked all around MCM in May and no one had it. And then I was just happened to be walking past a stall and I looked and I saw it and I kind of lost my mind. And I was like, excuse me, how much is that one? And I swear to God, I've never bought anything so fast in my life. Um, but yeah, I got this one just here, which is Bucky and I love him a lot. Yay. Now because I only had about half an hour, I kind of ran around the convention just kind of looking for anything interesting and I saw a pillow with Sebastian Stan's face on it and I was like, I need that in my life. But then I thought, you know what? No, I don't. I don't need it. I don't need it, Amelia. You can do it. You don't need Sebastian Stan's face on a pillow. And I went back to the cosplay photos and I carried on with my job and then there was time for us to have a break about three hours later and all I'd been thinking about for those three hours was that pillow so I was like I have to do it I have to I have to buy it so I ran back to the stall as quickly as I could and all of the Sebastian Stan pillows weren't there anymore and I was like oh no so I asked one of the people working the stall I was like hey do you by any chance have any winter soldier pillows left and the woman there went yes we have two designs which would you like and it was at that moment that I broke because I wasn't prepared for there to be two designs to choose from. This is the one I went for. The other one was the who the hell is Bucky face, but on a pillow obviously. But um, I went for the Infinity War poster Bucky Barnes White Wolf. I love him so, so much. And also these pillows are insane. Like they are so soft, but also so compact. And that's what I like in a pillow. It's very random, I know, but I prefer like compact pillows to like feathery fluffy pillows. I'm very happy with this, okay? I've literally been hugging this for the past week from when you've seen this. Like I've literally just come in, lay down, hug Bucky Barnes, you know? That's my life now. Also when I was buying this, I was asked if I wanted a matching blanket and I was so close to being like, yes, yes I do. But then I was like, no, I don't need one. I don't need one. So I was like, no, I'm good. And also because this was like near the end of the convention, there weren't any pillow inserts left to go inside of this case. So the lady at the stall was taking a pillow out of the Avengers Infinity War pillowcase. And I kind of looked at it 
And then I thought to myself, what if they have blankets of the Infinity War poster? And I asked, and I was like, hey, do you have this? And she said, yeah, yeah, of course we do. And um, yeah, I'm, I bought it. So this is the um, blanket. I don't know how well you'll be able to see this, but it's literally the Infinity War poster, but a blanket, okay? And I am literally in love with it. I love it so much, and of course, my fave is down here. I'm also gonna use it for my Avengers 4 shock blanket because I'm gonna need it. And while I was at the stall, I did actually ask for one of their cards so I could tell you guys about them. So they are Curious Creations, and I did ask if they had like a website or anything, and I was told that the website is currently down, but if you go to their Facebook, which is Curious Creations, and then a load of numbers, I'll leave a link in the description. Um, if you go there, then they have orders going, I believe is what she said, so you can go and check out their products there but that's, that's who they are, Curious Creations, and um, I recommend because their products are very good quality and I'm very, very happy with my Bucky Barnes pillow. Yes, I am. Now we're gonna move on to the Disney store things I bought. The first thing I got was actually one of these blind bags. So these came in to my store a little while back and I was like, oh, they're cute. And then I saw that you can get a Bucky Barnes, okay? I, if you didn't know, if you couldn't tell, I love that character too much. I really wanted Bucky and I literally spent a good like 20 minutes just kind of feeling around the packet trying to see if I could feel Bucky. I felt hair and I was like, well, none of the other characters have hair. And it actually turned out to be Scarlet Witch. Look at her. So like evidently I'm good at blind bags in a sense that I can tell exactly what the features are because she does have hair and this actually turned out to be one of the exclusive ones that you can't see on the packet it's the exclusive a and i really feel like exclusive b is nick fury that it, it looks like nick fury now i told myself i wasn't going to buy any more of those blind bags because i just there wasn't any chance i was really going to get bucky but then we got another box in completely new now one of my friends at work his name is lee he is unbelievably psychic a while back i wanted a blind box of loki and we had like the blind boxes and he said get this one he picked up i bought it i opened it it was loki then he wanted grandmaster he picked one he opened it it was grandmaster and at that point i was like okay you have a gift right now so i said to him i was like choose a packet choose a packet and i believe in you and whatever if you can get bucky barnes i'm gonna be shook and I'm, I'm, I'm gonna lose my mind. And he was like, get this one. And he felt very, very confident about it. So I bought it and then he opened it and all I could hear was him laughing and he handed me the packet and walked away really quickly, like literally laughing his ass off, like full on across the Disney store, just dying of laughter. And I looked in the packet and he'd only gone and done it. I genuinely you had to be there to witness the luck and the creepiness of it all and i still can't believe he did it but he just picked one and was like this this one i'm confident it's this one and he was right so i got little bucky barnes just here look at him he's so cute now i have a little bucky and a little wonder and they're gonna go on my keys and be best friends get along guys okay Get along. Now we come to the part of the video which is the reason why I'm actually making this more of a Disney haul and that is because today is August the 1st. Now if you don't know what that means, two things happened today. First of all, shopdisney.co.uk was launched which is the replacement of disneystore.co.uk. The other thing that came out today was the 100 Acre Gang plush from the new Christopher Robin film which comes out on the 16th slash 17th of August here in the UK. Obviously, there are new versions of Winnie the Pooh and the gang in the film, and Disney Store was so, so good with their merchandising this time that they released the range. I was expecting a mad rush, like a Mickey Memories rush to get these plush. But I was working a six till 11 a.m. shift, and I was the only person that actually bought any of the 100 acre gang plush in that time the first one i have is of course winnie the pooh just here i cannot express to you guys how much i love these and i wasn't actually gonna buy them but then i kind of went in the store this morning and i was like i can't say no like they are actually the cutest things ever and what i love the most about them is they have articulated 
legs is that the right word articulated they're the softest things ever and also i love that it looks like a very old-fashioned bear but it feels like just a normal plush from the disney store i love them okay and pooh bear here is 20 pound kanga pooh tigger eeyore are all 20 pound and then piglet is 18 pound but this is just what the little like tag looks like which i love so much about this and i just i love him a lot okay pat your Mickeys should be quaking because the Mickey memories may be good. But look at this Winnie the Pooh, okay? Look at this Winnie the Pooh! So then to go with Pooh, I also got Piglet because Piglet is my favourite character. I identify a lot with Piglet because I'm small and scared a lot of the time. I'm very anxious, you know. Look at him in his little green clothes with his little buttons and his little scarf that's so soft, let me tell you. But um, yeah, I got a little Piglet and again he has poseable legs and arms and he's just... It's just so cute and so squishy and there's just too much. There's just too much. And then also because I was in today but CJ wasn't, you guys know CJ from my first Disneyland Paris video. If you haven't seen it yet, I'll leave a link at the top of this video. But he wanted the Tigger one and because I was in, I picked up for him. And this is that guy just here. He's so precious. And again, he was £20. He's got the movable arms and the movable legs. So that is everything I brought from the Disney store in the past few days, weeks, months, etc. and everything I got from Comic-Con. I am gonna say goodbye to you for this video because I have nothing else to say. And I need to get going and get ready to watch Ant-Man and the Wasp. So excited. From me and Pooh here, I'm gonna end this video with I hope you enjoyed it and if you did then please do not forget to subscribe just here and also click on my previous video just here and just here will be a link to my Disneyland Paris vlogs. But until next time, bye!